So from celebrating a classic sandwich to celebrating classic vinyl, tomorrow is Record Store Day, which is all about indie-owned record stores. Bill went to Brothers Records in Mission, where they're having, well, actually, they are saving up some of their best finds all year long just to sell on this one day. So it seems like over the last decade, we've had a resurgence in vinyl. More and more people are wanting to buy their music and actually hold it in their hand rather than download it off the internet. What do you think has led to that trend? We didn't grow up buying vinyl ever. It was mm -hmm. CDs or even maybe cassettes and then CDs. So to a lot of kids, this is brand new and it's awesome. And they can build a collection that you can see and feel and the liner notes and the gatefolds and all the artwork. It's still a brand new thing to them. Also, new current artists such as like Lady Gaga, Kendrick Lamar, they're putting their stuff out on vinyl 90% of the time. And half the time you get a digital download card within that record. So not only do you get the physical copy, but you also get something that you can put on your phone or your computer yeah. and take with you. What does having a national record store day mean to you guys? and what are you doing here at uh, Brothers Music? It's something that was started because record stores were, were dying. There wasn't any of them hardly left and only the yeah. strongest and the, the most dedicated were still there. But through these limited releases and making it where only independently owned stores can order them, keep some of the big box stores out of it. We combine some of the best used collections we bought all year and we, we put them out that day. So, you know, we put out anything from rare jazz, rare blues, rare funk, rare rock and roll, stuff that we've had, stuff that we kind of saved back. That way you get the best of both worlds. Yeah. What makes one of those records rare? If it came out in 1976 and it was on MCA and it was Tom Petty, let's yeah. say, a ton of them sold. It's not going to be extraordinarily rare. So my Frampton Comes Alive album is not worth a lot, is Not what you're worth okay. a whole lot, no. <laughs> but if it came out of a San Francisco private label, you know, and yeah. it's some sort of really cool jazz piece they only made 500 of, and we happen to get one throughout the year, then that's a really great day to kind of reveal that kind of stuff. And we've been really fortunate this year, and just in time, getting one collection that's really kind of more on the rock and prog side, and one collection that's all on the jazz and blues side. And then of those records, I know you already have some that you're going to be uh, showcasing tomorrow. Can you kind of give us an example of those? Yeah. I mean, we don't we get our fair share of heavy metal, but not enough. So, yeah. <laughs> so any heavy metal we get, that goes out that day. Kind of import original pressings on stuff like Captain Beefheart. That's not a type of record we see every day. Um, we, original masters, anything like that that we can get our hands on. So Led Zeppelin too. that's an original one that came out? Well, no, then, what or? original master means, it was mastered at half speed. And so a lot more care was taken in the mastering process. Okay. Okay. So if you do have a really, really nice stereo, this is going to give you the best playback. Um, you know, jazz is what we specialize in. So mm -hmm. stuff that's dear to our heart. I know that record. Yeah, that's an original, you know. That's mm -hmm. actually the back side there. But uh, that'll be out. John Coltrane, um, famous jazz saxophone This is a great, player. great jazz record by Benny Maupin. He was in Herbie Hancock's yeah. group, The Headhunters. Um, that'll go out. Again, we do a lot with jazz, so we've got some unique pieces there. Um, Violent Femmes, a lot of, a lot yeah. of you all know that record. Um, that's an original pressing, you know, stuff like Kraftwerk, Lump, uh, Clash, and we haven't gotten any of the prog and some of that psych stuff quite in yet, so who knows all what we'll get out by that day. Well, it really gets you in the mood to add to your vinyl collection, but don't be surprised if you drive by a record store tomorrow and see lines out the door. Collectors and music lovers know that Record Store Day is the time to get your hands on some incredible finds.